we are going to round to the nearest hundred using a number line. When rounding to the nearest hundred, the number in the tens place tells the number in the hundreds place what to do. If the number in the tens place is a zero, one, two, three, or four, it will tell the number in the hundreds place to stay the same. If the number in the tens place is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then it'll tell the number in the hundreds place to go up. All right, let's take a look at our first number, 310. Now, let's take a look at our number line, 300 all the way to 400. Now, is 310 closer to 300 or is it closer to 400? Hmm. Well, there's 310. And I know the number in the tens place is going to tell the number in the hundreds place what to do. The one is going to tell the three to stay the same. So when I round 310 to the nearest hundred, we get 300. So it's closer to 300. Let's look at our second number, 330. There's 330. Well, once again, when I look at the tens place, it's going to tell the three what to do. And the three in the tens place is going to tell the three in the hundreds place to stay the same. So once again, when I round 330 to the nearest hundred, I get 300. And that is closer to 300. So, now, let's look at our last number, 380. Here's 380. So, once again, I'm going to look in the tens place, and that number in the tens place is going to tell the number in the hundreds place what to do. The number in the tens place is an eight, so it's going to tell the three in the hundreds place to go up. So when we round 380 to the nearest hundred, We get 400, and 400 is closer to 400. And that concludes our lesson.